let's keep going. We know today our best guys to go a Simon, a Serge. Speak between you, Simon, Serge. If you see you are not there, or tell the guys, call, call the team, call the team to, to give the support. But you are in the race, guys. You, you, you know who are the good guys, who have good legs uh, to follow and to be in uh, with them. And so to the Alps with three daunting climbs on the menu today between Umbra and Valois. The Col de Vars, the Col de Isoua and the Col de Galibier, three summits at over 2,000 metres. There was a fast and furious start to the stage with a number of moves that quickly shut down. The starter's Alexei Lutsenko looked hell-bent on getting clear and finally cracked it after 35k. He was quickly joined by Leonard Kemner, Tara Limpy and Adam Yates. The pace remaining high until the intermediate sprint after just 45k as another 30 riders jumped off the front to join up with the leading quartet. With the Koenig quick step still on the front of the peloton, Greg Van Avermaet and Julien Bernard pull clear at the front. The duo had over a minute in hand at the foot of the Izua, with the GC favourites now over eight minutes back. Before the Col du Lotere, the first part of the Galibier, 11 men still had five and a half minutes on the peloton and plenty of potential stage winners in there. Bardet, Quintana, Woods and Adam Yates. However, they were simply powerless to resist when Quintana unleashed this devastating attack on the Galibier proper, just over 7k from the summit. Quintana in a league of his own and claiming his third stage win on the Tour de France. I think that's an understatement to say. I mean, it was uh, one of the hardest stages of the tour, and uh, but for me, it was a big goal to be in the breakaway and to try and get as far as I could. And okay, in the end, uh, I don't know. Maybe I do just top ten, or I mean, I knew it was going to be hard to to do a good result, but I'm actually in the end to help me to, to get. To stages I think in the tour over uh, three helping passes so yeah it was a super hard day but I think we did manage really good to have three guys in the break and we were working quite good together uh, with me trying to survive as long as possible and we, I think we put charge in a good position to go for a good result in the stage and that's what we did so I think we can be really proud of our day today. Yeah on the first climb I actually felt really terrible and uh but then on the second climb, it got a little bit better. So I got better throughout the day. Maybe the stage was not long enough. I don't know. <laughs> no, but I was, uh, yeah, in the, after the second climb, I could come back to the guys, which was nice. And then uh, for the final, we could set up Serge. Yeah, he, he got a little bit of a head start into the climb, mm -hmm. which was good, I think. And yeah, in the end, he, he could hang on for a top 10 result. Mm -hmm. 